Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India फिर नेक्स्ट नवंबर में कब है मुझे बोलिए कोई विष्णु गुड आफ्टरनून मैं शुरू कब करूंगा आप मुझे बोलिए हेलो एवरी वन अ वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून टू ऑल ऑफ यू यू कैन रेज क्वेश्चन ऑन दिस प्लेटफॉर्म नाउ दिस इज अ लाइव सेशन ऑन सोशियोलॉजिकल परस्पेक्टिव एंड मॉडर्निटी what we have what we have discussed uh, of of course i mean this course was offered in 2018 and january to april uh, what we have discussed in 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 this uh, i mean in the course on sociological perspectives on modernity we started with thematic preliminaries uh, i mean there are four uh, uh, philosophical and political foundations of of uh, uh, critical modernist paradigm in sociology uh, uh, and these four uh, uh, philosophical and political foundations uh, include holism or totality reflexivity rationality and social movements and uh, then we have discussed uh, sociological modernism through the works of marx and weber and then we have discussed ultra modernism the structuralist interpretation through the works of levi strauss and and louis althusser and then we have discussed society as a human creation through the works of i mean through through the lens of western marxist marxist perspective uh, through the works of of um, Georg Lukacs, uh, Antonio Gramsci, and Alain Turenne, mm, and then we have discussed how to synthesize modernity and social theory uh, through the works of um, uh, uh, Immanuel Wallerstein, Anthony Giddens, and Jürgen Habermas, um, and then we have discussed how to deconstruct modernity uh, uh, through the lenses of, of feminism. Uh, cultural studies, uh, postmodernism, and so. On. I mean, cultural studies. For example, if I say we have discussed uh, cultural studies uh, critique of of modernity through the works of E. P. Thompson, uh, uh, Raymond Williams, and Michel Foucault. And then we have we have discussed a new totality. Uh, uh, I mean, we have we have discussed Gandhi, Dipankar Gupta, and so. On. Okay. In part, we have also discussed. I mean, Amartya Sen. Okay. Uh, we have. I have. I have received only one query. Uh, 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 that is changing perspective of, of modernity. Changing perspective on modernity. I mean, modernity also is a fluid concept. It is not rigid. Uh, it is pretty dynamic. Uh, what was modern? Hundred years ago is no longer considered modern today. Modernity is a, a set of ethos, whereas being modern uh, is a set of traits. Okay, and in this sense, um, uh, 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 and in this sense, what? Uh, Uh, I mean that, that changing um, uh, perspective of on modernity, uh, that the the way modernity was uh, conceived of uh, during the Enlightenment, um, uh, or or during uh, uh, or at the time of uh, independent India's independence, 
today's modernity is different uh, because modernity also changes its uh, contours, changes its uh, passion, changes its uh, dynamics based on the changing modes of production, changing uh, changes in our intellectual and political consciousness and so on. Okay. Now, some questions I have received. Uh, yeah. I know. Good afternoon, Vishnu, Vishnu, Sunayan Mukherjee. Okay, on Gramsci, somebody is asking, uh, I mean, Western Marxist uh, perspective. Uh, okay, you had talked about structuralist criticism of, of uh, Althusser. Uh, can you can you talk in brief about his post-structuralist term? Okay. You see, prima facie, uh, Althusser is never a structuralist or post-structuralist. In the context of modernity, we are, we are talking about Althusser as a structural Marxist. Althusser, of course, is a, was a part of Frankfurt School, critical theory, uh, neo-Marxist, one can say. But within Marxism, he is coming under structural Marxism. Okay, that's why we have we have put him under under uh, ultra modernist control of, of, of uh, or, or structuralist interpretation of modernity. Uh, I mean, namely uh, uh, Levi Strauss and and Louis Althusser. Uh, that Althusser's. Um, uh, it's not about structuralist criticism of Althusser or, or, or his post-structuralist turn. Rather, I would like to mention that how, a, how Althusser's reflections on, on, on class, on reflections on individual self, uh, or, or uh, the death of the individual, death of the author, okay, uh, that Levi Strauss as well as Althusser's account on, on modernity, they provide us with a scope for, for uh, such structuralist interpretation of modernity. Okay, ultra modernist case. That's why I gave you the example uh, in, uh, in the during the course that uh, if you you have never seen suppose I have never seen Lata Mangeshkar. Okay. But I always say that, yes, I know Lata Mangeshkar, I know Sachin Tendulkar, I know Birat Kohli, I know Diego Maradona. I have not seen them. I have never interacted with them. But I know them through Lata Mangeshkar. I know Lata Mangeshkar through her songs, the way she sings. I know Sachin Tendulkar uh, uh, as a top class batsman. I know Diego Maradona as a top class footballer, okay? But actually I don't know them, but I know them through their performances, through the ways in which they perform on the stage. That's why actually I don't know the individual, I don't know the author, but I know them through their action. Okay, death of the uh, of the subject. That's why, uh, if you if you look at uh, what Suraj Kumar Tanti asks on Gramsci, Gramsci's prison notebooks is extremely important in this context. If you if you uh, uh, look at Western Marxist interpretation of, of modernity through the works of Lukacs, Gramsci and Turin. Uh, in fact, Gramsci was working in Italy. He was the founder of, of the Communist Party of Italy and, and uh, when he was imprisoned, uh, he started writing prison notebooks, okay, which became extremely important. Uh, I mean, prison notebooks was published uh, posthumously after Ramses' uh, death and if you look at um, uh, Gramsci's reflections on modernity, okay, Gramsci's reflections on modernity, is, uh, reflections on modernity are in terms of uh, uh, 
the role of organic intellectuals in party building uh, uh, is the role of civil society okay suppose suppose for marx uh, what is civil society marx said that uh, 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 the 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 standpoint of the old material religion is civil society i mean far back in far back material religion is civil society whereas whereas the standpoint of the new material religion is human society human society or socialized humanity that's what he wrote in 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 thesis on far back uh, but if you if you look at gramsci's work gramsci provided an alternative image of civil society civil society cannot be reduced to only non governmental organizations that people very often talk about but civil society also includes intellectuals includes academic uh, people in, includes uh, the downtrodden uh, destitute okay they also and and who will who will uh, coordinate their activities now it is the role of the organic intellectuals in the party and they have to build party in this fashion uh, it cannot be reduced to only ngo yeah manoj verma yeah if if is there any other question now uh, please raise there are some seven notifications seven notifications seven the middle one up pura upar dekhiye seven notifications pura upar ha huh? sorry acha sir is there any is there a difference between ideology and discourse okay okay uh um okay alan turen's uh, uh reflections i mean western marxist interpretation of of modernity um uh, uh if you if you look at this they were trying to i mean look at gramsci to rain and others they were trying to look at uh, look at uh, class as well as class conflict in particular societies in western europe okay they did not try to homogenize class struggles okay the way people thought that no the way class struggle um, uh, was there in the in the erstwhile ussr soviet union the same kind of class struggle will be there in fact turen turen provided an alternative image of class struggle alternative image of 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 classes uh, and and uh, not simply class but class in itself and class for itself i am i am really uh, uh, excited by this question of 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 sunain mukherjee uh that that is there a difference between ideology and discourse you see uh uh what are ideologies and and what are discourses or what is an ideology and what is a discourse see ideology uh can never be neutral discourse at the same time can never be neutral but a discourse but there can be attempts to make a discourse a little neutral a little neutral but perhaps perhaps ideology can never be neutral because the element of politics which which will be very much embedded in ideology will never allow that to happen okay suppose suppose if you if you look at the german ideology by marx what are ideologies for marx marx has to be evaluated on 
two fronts. Marx as an ideologue of the communist party and Marx as a top-notch theoretician. Marx as an ideologue of the communist party he was absolutely in favor of proletarian ideology. But, but Marx as a theoretician, uh, what are ideologies for Marx? Ideologies are fantasies, ideologies are myths, inverted images, echoes of material life and so on. In quest of truth, in quest of knowledge, one must go beyond the narrow confinements of ideology. Even Marx said this while, while reflecting upon ideologies in general and the German ideology in particular. Okay. Uh, but when you, when you look at discourse, that's why I said ideology can be very, very politically constructed in nature. Uh, um, but discourse is is uh, a little less political, maybe less political and more theoretical. Okay, okay. Uh, um, but 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 one should not attempt to make absolute uh, clinical uh, or or uh, or. Uh, one should not attempt a watertight compartment between between ideology and discourse. Okay, that they, 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 they should not be construed as 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 uh, binary or dichotomic. Okay, uh, suppose if I say uh, Michel Foucault's discourse on 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 punishment, mm, Michel Foucault's discourse on sexuality, they are very much ideologically constructed okay that's why uh, it's very <coughs> sorry it's very important for us to to understand the the dynamics of the relationship between between uh, 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 ideology and discourse it's it's very it's a very very important question uh, in the in the context of social science research today uh, but but if social science research will be reduced to only ideology, perhaps perhaps uh, we can never reach any kind of truth, whether right, left, and center. Okay, is there any other question? Is there any other question? Okay, I mean, this is the first live session in the rerun of this course on sociological perspectives on modernity. Uh, we'll have two more, two more live sessions uh, on the, of this course on sociological perspectives on modernity. Please read them, uh, please go through the, the document and, and uh, we'll, we'll uh, discuss uh, uh, whatever questions that you have, you can also post your questions. You can, we can have a live session on the questions. You can also directly question. Uh, you can also raise your questions uh, uh, directly on the on this platform. I mean, live sessions. Okay, and then we'll have have uh, uh, more discussion on on the queries that you have. 
in the next two live sessions. Thank you. ठीक है? हम्म? 19 minutes stay पूरा है। हाँ, ओके। अच्छा, कुछ